There's a growing body of research connecting oral health with your overall well-being. That's why keeping both in good shape is essential for living a healthy life. Dr. Chedley Vincent is a dentist at Aspen Dental and is back with us on Connecticut Style. We love having you here. Welcome. Thank we you. Do. First of all, let's talk about Aspen Dental. A lot of offices throughout Connecticut. Yes, we have over 20 to 30 offices in Connecticut. And overall, across the country too, right? Across the country, across the nation, we have about 280 offices. Yes, growing number of offices, and we're still growing. Well, that's terrific. And this month, we're celebrating older Americans and kind of drawing some awareness to their oral health. Yes. Um, and why is that important? Well, because oral health definitely is leading to our overall health. So we know that with um, oral health, if we're not very healthy in our oral health, it could lead to diabetes, mm -hmm. stroke, and also heart disease. All right, what are some of the changes as we grow older that's happening in the mouth? Um, you get a lot of changes to the mouth, the gum, and the teeth. For example, one big change is receding gums. Um, with receding gums, you don't have the protection of the gums anymore or the enamel, and it's easier to get decay or infection. And that can happen from brushing too hard, right? And, or yes, too much? Yes, from brushing too hard, too. Yeah, and also <laughs> has to do with age. And um, also, another concern, too, is you lose bone. Yes. And especially that's a major concern for a lot of denture wearers out there. And another thing that we find, too, is that there's a decrease in saliva production. And our saliva is our natural way to flush out our mouth. So without that saliva, you know, the debris and the plaque could stick there and could start breaking down the well, teeth. Is there any way to prevent any of that from happening, or is it just comes with age? Um, it comes with age, but there are ways to, uh, you know, protect it and take care of it. So, for example, um, you know, you just have to be careful with the medications that you take because a lot of medications have side effects for dry mouth, especially the medications for high blood pressure and for depression. So there are several products that you can use over the counter that could help with dry mouth, for example, biotin. Um, for those people that are losing bone for their dentures, you just want to make sure that you keep up with your regular dental exams. And that way you can monitor to make sure that your dentures are fitting properly if you're losing bone. Doctor, is there a certain age that this happens or that you'll start noticing? You know, you'd be surprised. Basically, around in your early 30s to your mid-30s, you start really to change, especially with receding gums, yes. And that's all because they're not taking care of their, their teeth and no, gums? No, it's not necessarily not taking care, but yeah. just a natural progression of age. You okay. know, just like we start losing bone mm -hmm. and um, calcium in our bone in our 30s, same thing. Our gums start receding. And so what would you recommend? How often should you be in a in, visit the dentist? Well, you want to keep when you get older. Yeah, you want to keep up with your exams at least twice a year, and um, you know oral hygiene is very important. You want to brush at least twice a day and floss twice a day to clean in between the teeth and around the gum line. So that are the regular things that you want to take care of. So I just had this, uh, yeah. this argument with my my boyfriend. Do you floss first or do you brush first? I would say you would floss first. Right? Really? That's what he said. Yes. I said brush first and then <laughs> all right, get all everything out and then do like a rinse after. Yeah, you would floss first because after you finish flossing, it <laughs> loosens yeah. it up and then you want to brush it and get rid of it all. So yeah, <laughs> he wins. <laughs> Let's talk about dentures. Yes. Now, when somebody starts wearing that, uh, is it, are there certain people who should not, will not be able to get dentures because of their, the health of their, their gums? No, I mean, every everybody that needs dentures can definitely be a candidate of dentures okay. if their um, bone is shrinking and they need dentures yes everyone is basically a candidate yeah and then how often should dentures be replaced if you do have them dentures should be placed um, approximately every five to seven years but I do find that a lot of patients do wait longer than that mm -hmm. and sometimes that's not the best thing to do because the dentures move around your mouth and could cause sores and irritation what's the latest when uh, we talk about dentures what's the latest thing out there um, right now, we do offer uh, implants or implants, mini implants, yes. right, that are placed into the bone and then the denture snaps right on top of that to give the perfect retention that you need so the dentures are not moving around on you and you're not using too much denture adhesive. If you find that you're using more than one tube of denture mm -hmm. adhesive every mm -hmm. three weeks, then your dentures are probably not fitting as they should. Doctor, what do you do if, if patients don't have insurance? Are there options? Well, one thing we do, because we know that, you know, times are hard now, for new patients, we offer free exams and free x-rays oh, for new patients nice. that don't have dental insurance. And there are a lot of people who don't have dental insurance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
All right, well, we're running out of time. Let's just put all the information up on the screen about Aspen Dental. You can call 800 Aspen Dental, or you can visit their website, aspendental.com, if you missed any of the information on the show today. You can also find it at uh, Connecticut Style on our website. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. It's always well, a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. We'll see you next time. Yes, thank all right. you. Great. Don't go away. There's more Connecticut Style right after this.